What's up guys, Chris with UVT. Today we've got the BS60 battery station, smart controller enterprise, a couple of TB60s, the M300. We're gonna be going over the new UAV health management system, HMS, as part of the new M300 RTK release. It is unique right now to the smart controller enterprise and the pilot app that's there. Um, and that HMS system is used to update, monitor, all kinds of stuff through the BS60s, your TB60 and WB37 batteries. Um, the health management system will also monitor when connected with the M300 RTK, your aircraft's firmware versions, propulsion system, all that kind of stuff. Today, specifically, we're going to be talking about how to connect your smart controller enterprise to your BS60 to check firmware versions, monitor charging, and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the smart controller enterprise. We're going to boot up the DJI Pilot app. While that's going, you're going to take a USB-A to USB-C cable. You might be wondering why it's not USB-C to USB-C or vice versa. The Smart Controller Enterprise actually has a extension box on the bottom of it that connects you to the B37. The only USB port on the bottom is a USB-C, but it's only used for charging the battery internally. You have a USB-A on the top, and that's going to be the only USB port on the Smart Controller that's enabled for firmware updates. So we're going to go ahead and connect the USB-A to the Smart Controller Enterprise. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the power or the uh, BS60 charging station. You've got your USB-C port on the top. We're gonna to go ahead and connect it. And I give it a second just to kind of sync up, get its mind right, do that handshake, and everything should be up and running. On the splash screen of the Pilot app on your Smart Controller Enterprise, you've still got your manual flight and your mission flight, but you have two new things on the right-hand side, album and HMS. It's that HMS, the health management system that we're gonna be dealing with today. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on that. You're greeted with sort of a splash screen here. All these other squares that are gray, it's because the aircraft is off right now. We're focusing mainly on batteries. You will see your remote controller is in there. It is in mode two and it says normal, so that's great. On the left-hand side, you've got aircraft. It says latest version, battery station, so it is talking to the BS60. It's also on the latest version. And we can kind of scroll down here so you can see the rest, but it's all gonna be unrelated to what we're doing. So today we're focusing on that BS60. I'm gonna go ahead and tap battery station. Now you see the battery case in the top left, that firmware version below it is the current firmware that our BS60 is on. Just bear in mind, we are pre-launch right now, so this version may be different than what you see at launch. No big deal at all, it's easy to update right here through the HMS. Now, our battery slots are currently empty in the BS60. We do have two sets of TB60s to my right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a random one and plug it into whatever port I want. It is now in and it is in the top left position and now you'll notice in the pilot app it says 100 percent and we are on version 01.02.05.22 so within it was almost real time within seconds of connecting it it shows the real-time display in the proper slot so you don't have to worry about which batteries which though i do recommend tracking that i'm going to grab another random tb60 plug it in give it a push and there she is so it's in sort of that bottom uh, one slot to the right in that bottom row. It's at 84%, same firmware version, so it's good to go. And because the Pilot app is monitoring all of that, it can see on the right here that all of our firmware is up to date. Simultaneously, it's also charging. So it's gonna do all that charging. It's gonna manage the charge while we're doing all these HMS tests. If this firmware did need to be updated, you would just click the button on the right to do your updates. And of course, it'd go through all the different warnings and things like that, and you'd be able to proceed through. You're welcome to disconnect these batteries at any time. This one was at 100%, so it's not being charged anyway. This one's being charged right now. You can remove it. And your battery slots update dynamically. To back out, you just go back out here, and you can begin managing your other components. We appreciate you guys coming by, and we'll check you uh, or see you again soon.